guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel for a new video today. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorites from last month. So I have been loving watching these videos on YouTube lately of people sharing their favorites of each month, whether it's hair care, skincare, beauty, um, home interiors, or fashion. I think they're a really great way to show you guys what I've been loving for the last month, and we'd love to share it with you as well. So yeah, keep watching to see my February favorites from last month. So I thought we could start with beauty. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs from this month and also watching my Instagram stories, you would have seen me absolutely raving about this. This is a eyelash and eyebrow growth serum. And I did say on my stories and my YouTube channel, if anyone had any recommendations on how I can grow my eyebrows and eyelashes, because long story short, when I'm stressed or I have anxiety or I'm worrying about anything, I like to pull up my eyebrows. It's a thing that I've always done. And honestly, I was going so bald on my eyebrows it was so so bad so one of my lovely followers recommended me getting a castor oil and this is by a brand called sunny oil and it's a jamaican and black castor oil so in here there's a mascara wand and it's a three month supply so i've been applying this every single day now i'd say for over a month like since christmas time like since like beginning of january um sorry hugo's just staying here like next to me so if you hear any funny snoring noises it's just hugo and like i was saying it comes in a little jar like like this so as you can see there's absolutely loads in here and you only need a small bit as well and it also comes as well with a spoolie which of course is great for applying it with so when I apply this I literally apply it every single night time after I've done my evening skincare routine I dip this spoolie in I gently just wipe off any excess and I literally just brush it through my eyebrows and then do my eyelashes as well. And I do this every single night now as part of my skincare routine. And I've honestly noticed such a difference in my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I know some of you guys have mentioned on some of my vlog videos and also my everyday makeup video that my eyebrows and eyelashes are looking fab. So thank you so, so much everyone. And it's all down to this amazing eyelash serum. So I will link it down below for you. Then I have a cleanser to share with you guys. So this is from a brand called Face Theory. You would have seen me work on a campaign with them over on my Instagram but honestly their products are so so lovely this is the vitamin C creamy cleanser and I've been using this every morning as part of my double cleanse routine but the first cleanser I've been using is a one from Elemis which is a foaming one which is from the Seeker Calm range and then I go in with this one after and it's honestly so so creamy and soft on my skin like as soon as I wash this off my face my skin feels super squeaky clean but because it's vitamin C as well I think it's a really great cleanser to use on your face in the morning because especially like during the winter season and these dull couple of months, I just love products that make my skin look nice and bright. And using a cleanser which has vitamin C in for the morning time is really great at awakening your skin and making it look and feel brighter. So yeah, I also have a discount code for this as well um, with the Face Theory brand. So if it is still valid, I will link it just below for you. But yeah, a really lovely brand which is really reasonable and I've been loving this cleanser. Which leads on to another vitamin C product that I've been loving. So you would have seen this on my vlogs. This is from Rodi beauty this is the vitamin c eye cream which is the eye souffle and this is so lovely at brightening my eyes i literally have been using this morning and night time and i really really love it it's a really nice creamy texture as well i'll just show you it goes on really nicely you only need a small bit of it they also do a lot more in this range as well so i'm very tempted to have a little look on red deal beauty and see what other products they have which are part of this range so yeah i would definitely recommend this if you're after a nice eye cream that brightens your eyes like for me i always suffer with really dark circles and puffy eyes and this has honestly been great for that then next I have some really lovely makeup products to show you guys. So this is from a brand called Trini London. You guys would have seen me trying these out over on my Instagram stories. But this is basically their BFF collection, which is a de-stress range. So in here we have a BFF serum, which is in the shade Claire. So it's like a tinted um, BB cream. And again, it really brightens your skin and plumps it as well. I've honestly been loving this product for no makeup days. You guys know on my vlogs, I love BB creams. I love CC creams and these are honestly so so lovely there's also a eye concealer as well to go with this which is a bff serum as well 
and I've been loving using these on no makeup days and I want a little bit of something on my skin but I just love as well with the de-stress range as well it just really gives your skin a nice pick me up so if your skin is looking super tired and super dull it also brightens your skin as well so yeah really love these then I have another serum to show you guys this is from Ren Skincare this is the perfect canvas you guys would have seen this on my everyday makeup video I honestly love this before applying my makeup so this is the silicon free skin finishing serum so I apply this after applying my moisturizer and then before my foundation and it makes a really lovely nice base before my foundation it makes it sit so so nice and you guys will already know that I love Ren skincare products I'm always using the Ren toner which is the ready set glow I think it's called it's either ready set glow or ready steady glow but again my favorite toner one of my hero skincare products and I've been using this again for the whole of February and honestly couldn't recommend it it creates a really lovely base for your makeup and then I have another makeup product that again you guys would have seen before this is the banana low lighter by Rodeal Beauty you would have seen it on my everyday makeup routine they've also just launched a new product as well which I think is the peach one I'm really intrigued so I'm going to get myself it because I love this I would say it's a brightening concealer so you use this to literally highlight dull areas so I apply it underneath my eyes and it really does brighten my skin and it's a really great low lighter as well I've seen people using it for contour again a concealer um, highlight and it's also a really great multi-purpose product as well to have in your makeup bag and then the last makeup product that I have is by a brand called Refi so this is the eyebrow fixer it comes in a collection so there's a eyebrow fixer there's also a little pencil as well and there's also a brush with a little um, pot I think it's called a promade um, an eyebrow promade um, so you use that as well to sort of pencil your eyebrows but again this is by um, Jess Hun this is her own launch again a new makeup product and it's a really really great fixer so I've been using this before I pencil my eyebrows so as you can see it's white and it has a wand as well and I literally applied this before penciling my eyebrows so I brush all my eyebrows up I then apply this fixer but I also make sure as well that I do wipe off the excess as you do get quite a lot so I just make sure that I wipe off the excess so it doesn't get like too much and too sticky and it's really great at holding your eyebrows in place as well so like when I'm doing my makeup for example and you guys would have seen on my routine video I literally brush on my eyebrows up then I applied this and then I go in and do all my eyeshadows while that's drying and then once that is all dry then I can then go in and fill in the gaps with the pencil but yeah it's a really really lovely collection I got it in the shade medium and I really love it for holding my eyebrows and keeping them nice and fluffy looking now on to hair care so of course we are all dying to get back into the hairdressers I most certainly am I think my hair appointment is booked for April the 15th and I honestly can't wait to get my hair done I mean look how dark my roots are I think by April the 15th my roots are probably going to be down to probably about here but with my hair as well I always have foils in so the roots grow through really nicely but again these roots are getting too much now and to keep my hair feeling nice and fresh and feeling soft as well I've been using a new collection by Kerastars the last month which is a blonde absolute range which I'll show you now so here is some of the range so this is a purple shampoo and hair treatment so I have tried so many purple hair shampoos shampoos and products I honestly can't describe how many I've tried there's so many that didn't work for my hair there was also a lot as well that were too strong for my hair that would make my hair look a bit lilac-y would also like be quite harsh on my hair as well and be too strong and I had to mix it into my other shampoos so again I've tried a lot out there but this has definitely been my favorite one that I've ever used that actually works really well for my hair so this is the blonde absolute range by Kerastars it comes with a purple shampoo which is a anti-brass purple shampoo which for light and cool blonde or grey hair again really really lovely and then once I've shampooed my hair with this I tend to leave this on for just a couple of minutes and then I apply the mask again I leave this on in the shower for I say like three to four minutes because again my hair is like super porous so when I have toners or anything on at the hairdressers it grabs really really quickly so I don't like to leave these products on my hair for too long because I get worried that it is going to go a little bit purpley but I have had this on in the bath for about five to eight minutes before and it's not gone purple at all so yeah a really really fab range they also do some serums as well which I've been using in and this is the blonde absolute seeker plasma which is a leave-in treatment so I've been using this when my hair is wet I've literally put a couple of pumps into my hand run it all through it also has heat protectant in it as well which is perfect and then I dry my hair with the after and then once my hair is all dry I've been applying another serum but I only use a small bit because as you can see 
my hair is really really fine and some oils can be too like heavy on my hair so this is the intense blonde strengthening oil which again has been really helping my ends because of course my hair is in desperate need of a cut I do have a few split ends I'm sure we all do but this has really been helping my ends and strengthening them which means I have far less breakage so again using these products in conjunction together has really been helping my hair and keeping it nice and bright I do currently need to use this on my hair as I've been doing this once a week now with the mask so I've been using the shampoo with the mask once a week and then every time I wash my hair I've then been using these two and then there's also the shampoos as well that you can use in between the mask and the purple shampoo so this is a brightening shampoo which is the illuminator which is really good at removing those like toxins in your hair that makes it look dull I find that if you are blonde like anything like pollution can really damage your hair color and make it look dull especially during the winter months as well like I find that in the summertime my hair always looks really nice and bright because I'm outside more it gets lighter in the sun so this shampoo is really great to use in between washes of the purple shampoo and there's also this as well which is a intense fortifying treatment that you can use in between as well which is also lovely so yeah I honestly couldn't recommend the blonde absolute collection enough it's been really good at keeping my hair nice and strong it's been really good at brightening my hair and keeping my hair going until my next hair appointment and then the final item that's also been helping my hair so much during lockdown is the Dyson supersonic hair dryer so again you guys will have seen me working on a campaign over on my Instagram with this launching over on Very. it has been an absolute game changer for my hair like it's honestly worth every single penny so it comes with lots of different attachments again this is my favorite one which is the smoothing nozzle and it makes my hair feel so smooth like I always thought that blow drying my hair all the time was really bad for my hair so I always used to let it dry naturally but it's actually really bad for your hair to let it dry naturally on its own because basically when you let your hair dry from wet um, to dry on its own your hair is like something to do with the pores in your hair are really open which means it's then more delicate to breaking so for example if you let your hair dry on its own and you go back through it and brush it you'll get loads of breakage and this is one thing that I didn't know of I thought that blow drying my hair was so bad for my hair all the time but also with the Dyson as well it has amazing heat technology in it so again there's different settings there's also a cool shot as well and it really is so much better for your hair because it doesn't go over 150 degrees so again a lot better for your hair it makes my hair feel so so smooth after I've dried it as well like for example I've washed my hair this morning I've not even straightened it I've literally just dried my hair with this and put on some of the Kerastar serum and look how shiny and smooth my hair is so yeah I honestly couldn't recommend the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer enough it's been an absolute game changer for me and I definitely won't go back to using any other hair dryer now now on to lifestyle so one of my new year's resolutions was to read more and I wanted to make sure that I read one book per month and then another resolution I only had two so it was to basically read one book a month and then to start exercising again to make myself feel good and not to exercise to sort of turn up and lose weight so those were my two resolutions I don't like to set myself loads of resolutions but these were the two that I really wanted to focus on and I love watching Sarah Ashcroft's vlog she's so down to earth and she recommended this book which is by Jen Atkins called Blowing My Way to the Top so this has honestly been the the best business book that I've ever read so if any of you guys are um, self-employed or you have your own business you are a female and you want to sort of be an entrepreneur uh, this is definitely such a amazing book and so motivating as well she honestly talks to you like you're her best friend but she's also so open and honest as well she tells you her massive highs her massive lows her mistakes and I could honestly relate to so many chapters in this book it was a really really good read and once I started reading it I honestly couldn't put it down so yeah a really great book that I read and also when it comes to reading as well me and Ross have a new routine now which honestly has been helping me sleep better so you guys will have seen me mention in some of my other vlogs that I was really struggling to sleep and reading a book before going to bed oh my god you know when people talk about it and just say read a book it's really good read a book it's honestly like game changing I honestly can't believe how much better I am sleeping by coming off my phone or any screen an hour before bedtime and reading a book for like half an hour to an hour it's made a, such a difference so like now me and Ross come up to bed about nine half nine we get into bed we set our alarms we put our phones face in and just get out our books and read for half an hour to an hour and it makes us sleep like that so like honestly I've been 
been sleeping so much better by reading a book and that's one of my resolutions like I said already and like when I was reading that book as well Russ was laughing at me I was excited to go to bed to read my book he's like you're so into that book and I was like it's so good Russ I can't put it down and he started reading The Secret now so I've read The Secret already and I love it so he's reading that now and last month I read that book and then this month now I'm reading The Magic which is the book that follows on from The Secret so again when Russ finishes The Secret hopefully the end of this month he will then read The Magic and I'll find a new book to read so yeah that has definitely been helping me sleep and also which has been helping me sleep is this so again this is by Ren so this is the and now to sleep pillow spray I've been spraying this on my pillow before getting into bed so I literally just like when I come upstairs I literally get this out spray my pillow go and do my teeth and then get back into bed set my alarm and get my book and obviously having that smell around and then reading my book is just making me sleep so much better so again if any of you guys are struggling to sleep or struggling to like switch off like for me I find it's my brain and my mind like my mind is constantly ticking like I'm always thinking about work stuff and if I'm on my phone or even watching tv as well I find that having that screen time right before bed I can't sleep like I can't sleep at all so again reading for me and using pillow sprays has honestly made such a difference so again a really great tip for you guys if any of you are struggling to sleep at the moment because this has honestly helped me I didn't think it would so yeah definitely reading a book before you go to bed and having some pillow spray at hand really does help with your sleeping. Now on to some really cute home bits. So I have these candles here which are from a small business which are honestly so so cute. So these are from a brand called Our Door Scents and how lovely are they? I'm honestly just like so obsessed with really cute pretty candles that I can have on display and these ones are so so lovely. I also have this one as well which I had in a goodie box from Selfridges which is also so lovely. I'm sure you guys have seen these all over Instagram but they're really lovely decor candles to have. Like I have this one in my dressing room and these ones are in the living room downstairs but again I've just been loving candles at the moment and I also love the twisted candles which are everywhere at the moment as well. So again candles has definitely been one of my favourites and addicts this month. I literally just can't get enough of cute candles. And then another favourite home bit of mine of course is the new rug in my dressing room from Dunnell so of course I will put a picture on the right hand side I honestly love this rug I feel like it really does make my dressing room like every time I walk in there in general I just feel like oh my god I love this new space so you guys would have seen on my dressing room transformation videos on the clear out that we redecorated my dressing room last month and it's honestly made such a difference to how I see that room now I love going in there the natural light is also lovely as well and I'm also so happy with my wardrobe doors they honestly so you make that room feel so nice and this rug from Dunelm really does finish off the room I'm just waiting for my new dressing table to arrive I'm getting really impatient now like I'm honestly dying for it to come it's meant to be coming the end of this month so of course you guys will be seeing a full dressing room tour next month but I've just got to wait for the new dresses to come so yeah stay tuned for that video now finally on to some fashion items so if you guys follow me over on my Instagram you guys will know that I'm absolutely obsessed with Asia. like I am obsessed and these are the, my latest purchase from last month and these are the Veja running trainers of course which I'm also obsessed with and in love with so these are the Ventura running trainers by Veja of course they're a really nice neutral chunky trainer and I've honestly been styling them so much on my Instagram they go with everything but they're also a really practical trainer as well as they are running trainers so they're very very comfortable to go on long walks in again they're so fresh as well I feel like I don't want to do too many walks by me yet as I do in the countryside so when of course it is a bit drier and in the summer season I will be wearing these more for walks but again these are very true to size they don't rub or anything and I just absolutely love them so yeah these trainers have definitely been my favorite shoe purchase from last month and then I'm finishing off this video with some stripes so again you guys have seen on my channel on my Instagram I've been absolutely loving adding some stripe and styling stripe in my wardrobe because my wardrobe of course is very minimal very neutral and I don't like to go too crazy when it comes to my prints like I like to add a little bit of print whether it's a check or a hound's tooth um, or maybe a hint of like leopard print but I've been loving stripes because these are so so nice so again both of these are from Zara you have seen me wearing this before and also styling this I think they mix so well into my wardrobe and also a really nice trend as well to transition with and again I've been absolutely loving stripes last month so yeah love both of these so that is the end of my February favorites video guys I hope that you've liked all the items and pieces I've showed you in this video if you have found it helpful and useful then please do make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up and do make sure you subscribe to my channel as well so you don't miss next month's favorites either so yeah as always thank you so much for coming back to my channel guys and watching this video and i'll see you on the next one bye guys <laughs>